Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a cute uh, Valentine's Day card in Affinity for iPad, so stay tuned. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we have to have these two programs or just one. Uh, I would suggest to have at least Affinity Photo, but you can make do with Affinity Designer as well. I'm just going to use both today to show you how you can make your Valentine's Day card in any of these programs. So first thing you need to do is open up Affinity Designer and we're going to make a new document about the size. I'm making my card so I can print it out on A4 paper, that's international paper size, it's uh, used here in Europe for printers and um, in that case I need a card that is uh, size 1.5 times 148 millimeters okay and 300 dpi that's for a4 paper size if you're printing out on letter size of paper then i'm gonna put the numbers here what do you need and you can pause and check it out so now we have our artboard and uh, I'm just gonna make a really simple and cute design for a Valentine's Day card. You can copy it or you can make your own, just play around. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna make uh, something cute with the hearts. So I just take the heart tool, I like these little uh, chubby hearts. And uh, they're gonna be white with black stroke. And I want it to be a little uneven on places like this I like that okay so this is and now we're just gonna duplicate it so let's just press duplicate and I'm gonna make another smaller one duplicate again Okay, so now we have a basic layout. For some reason my two finger um, copy doesn't work. Usually when you press two fingers and pull it's gonna duplicate but I'm gonna check it out later. So now uh, I want to write in like happy You can of course make it in color, you can uh, make every single one of these hearts a different uh, different color. Let's see. Okay, your card is now done and it looks good, you're happy with it. Now you need to save it, so I'm just gonna uh, go here and export and I'm just gonna press share and save image. Okay, that's all. Okay, so now when we finished our design and we saved it in photos, I'm just gonna prepare it so when you print it out you can just cut it and fold it and it's gonna be a finished card that you can write in and give to your loved one and stuff like that so uh, for that I have made these little templates 
for Affinity and you can use them actually in Affinity Photo for iPad and Affinity Photo for uh, desktop version so they're really handy and super easy to use so I have here uh, A4 and leather size papers so for my printer I'm gonna use A4 so I'm just gonna open up the template and see it's a uh, this is A4 format of paper, these are cut lines, fold lines, and this is a little layer here that we're gonna use uh, to replace with our artwork. I'm gonna use the art we made just now. So you go here, place, place from photos, use recent, grab the card you just made and just click once. It should be direct size because we made it in correct size uh, when we were making the card. And we just place it here. In case you have a bigger, uh, bigger design, let's say your design is bigger than the space, you can just mask to below and you're done but our card is fine so we do not need this layer you can just hide it you can hide this la layer as well and just make it that's it you're done if you can print from your ipad that's fine if not you can just export save as a pdf jpeg whatever you feel comfortable with printing I'm just going to do PDF and I'm going to save it and uh, I'll see you guys a little bit later after I print the card out. Voila! Your card is printed. Now my printer isn't the best quality, I'm just showing you this for a presentation purpose. As you can see, you have these lines where you can cut your card and you have these two little lines that show where to fold it. And I'm gonna fold it first because after we cut it, we won't be able to use these lines anymore. So here. And now we're just gonna cut it. How cute is this? And this size fits perfectly into an envelope. Thank you for watching and please let me know in the comments if you learned something new and if you're using this tutorial to make your own cards for Valentine's Day or any other holiday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!